Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. And it's Tuesday night, and you know what that means. It's time for the NXT Event Center. And here's the man that will bring you all that has happened on NXT, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode 1,326. Um, I just finished watching NXT Stand and Deliver. Um, like I said on the last episode, it was a great episode, um, great show. And um, before I get to talking, I want to give a shout out to Jordy Scout, Dan XP, Chayton Long, um, Cypress, and all the other, and Nick, Nick and Fonte 1982, and the rest of the gang, because we did a, a live stream, it was hilarious, I had a great time, oh, no. and after I get done this video, I'm going to go ahead back to a halftime chill stream, that's right, a halftime chill stream, and once I make, and once I get done with this video, I'm going to try to catch up on all my videos, and that way, because I, if, um, you haven't seen the card sharks, um, like I said, it'll be sharking. Sharks and Suits Saturdays. That's what it's going to be called. And Sharks and Suits Saturdays, it, it did the first one. But it was the 83rd edition overall. So check it out if you can. If you can, it's got done that and it's been premiered. So uh, I'll tell you what. This, <laughs> and there's a lot of good stuff. A lot of great matches are happening, you know. And uh, I thought it was, it was um, super cool. Uh, Joe Gacy went one-on-one -on -one with Sean Spears and... Joe Gacy ended up winning that matchup, Meta and that was the um, kickoff. The Metaphor, um, Metaphor took on, t uh, Metaphor decided to host, stand and deliver, and they're kicking off, stand and deliver, and having some fun, telling stories of what happened and whatnot, and all the moments that led up to some of the matches at stand and deliver. First matchup, um... On the stand deliver card, the NXT Tag Titles were on the line. The Wolf Dogs, the team of Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin, defending against the team of Axiom and Nathan Frazier. And this was a heck of a matchup. But um, Nathan, um, but the Wolf Dogs ended up surprisingly retaining. I thought they would lose the belt since Braun Breaker has been up in the main roster already. So um, they're probably going to add a few more folks. If they get to be stars, I'm sure they'll move up Braun Breaker to the main roster. For, on a full-time basis, but right now the Wolf Dogs are still tag team champions. Oh, Mensa has been um, pushed to do interviews with some with some of the competitors for the next matchup, the North American Championship matchup, a three-way dance, and between or, uh, Oba Femi, the defending champ, and Die Jack and uh, Josh Briggs, and uh, when Oral Mensa tried to open up the door and interview somebody, he got knocked down by Oba Femi, and they're like, "Oh no, you okay?" and Oh, metaphor is pretty hilarious. So the North American title was on the line. This matchup, I'm telling you, Oba Femi impresses me. He's going up against a couple of gentlemen who are seven, six foot seven and six foot eight. He does made it even did an avalanche Death Valley driver on these two guys. This guy, Oba Femi, is going to be your star of the future in the WWE. Watch him and watch him in the, because in the, in the future, this guy could. Could end up holding all the belts, and I'm telling you what. And they, if you want to, if you want to team them, team them up with somebody for a tag team title, put them with Bobby Lashley. I can tell you, Bobby Lashley and Obafemi Femi against each other or team up with each other are going to be bangers. Let me tell you something. You put those two together as a tag team. I'm telling you, Femi and Lashley in the future. Watch, watch Oba Femi. Lashley's going to take a good look at him and say, "Hey, this is the guy I need." Or, you know, or you know, you know, if he needs to, uh, like another mouthpiece, you know, MVP can help, and like you. You know, Omos is uh, the Oba Femi retains the title. He was a very, very impressive individual. In metaphor, uh, interviews the uh, Hale and Fallon Henley and King Lonnie Jordan about their matchup. Yeah, the Norm Dark took did want too much one of these, and Thea Hale locked him to Kamor Lock. And and Last Legends like trying to yank yank him yank her off him, and it was hilarious. And Thea Hale, a lot of people like Thea Hale. I like Thea Hale. She is um, a little firecracker in that one. Watch out for her and. That's another person in NXT you watch in the future. She may be a main roster star before you know it. But right now, she's doing her thing in NXT. And uh, the six-woman tag, Fallon Henley, Kaylani, Jordy, and Thea Hale. The woman against Kiana James, Izzy Dame, and JC Jane. And, uh, and uh, Thea Hale won the match for her team by making Izzy Dame tap out. And that's what happened. So, 
and Thea Hale won the match for her team, got her revenge, a little victory in the process. Uh, but there's a huge news coming out of NXT. A new title has been added, ladies and gentlemen, for the women's division. That's right, the NXT no Women's North American Championship is uh, is, is going to be born. That means, will a Women's Intercontinental Championship or a United States title not far behind? Who knows for sure? But one thing I do know, that, you know, with this addition, it will give plenty of women an opportunity for plenty of women an opportunity to get that title. And speaking of the women's division, in attendance... Julia from Stardom. Julia is G G I U L L I A. Julia. She's half Japanese, half Italian. She happens to be. Uh, if, if, if this is true, she signs on with NXT, and Rossi Ogawa is there as well. I'm going to tell you something right here, right now. She signs on with NXT. That division is going to get flipped upside down with Roxanne Perez as the champion. They were there to watch. She was there to watch the title match. Roxanne Perez and Lyra Valkyria watch her and watch her in the future. Um, I gotta tell you, this is going to be a heck of a matchup, heck of a fight, and in the end, it's just going to be a heck. Of, um, that's coming up next. Going to be a heck of a fight. But Julia is watching very, very closely. Only a matter of time. Once Julia um, gets done, um, gets done with her all her dates. She is going to NXT, and Ju and Roxanne Perez or Larry Bacchari, who can't, comes out the champion, better watch their back. Speaking of that matchup, the NXT Women's Title on the line, Larry Bacchari versus Roxanne Perez, and this was a heck of a matchup. And uh, Tatum Paxley, who is obsessed with Larry Bacchari, uh got involved during the matchup, but she inadvertently cost Larry Bacchari. The championship as to Roxanne Perez as Roxanne Perez made her tap out to the crossface. And I'm telling you, this new version of Roxanne Perez is one lady you don't want to mess with. Maybe she may be cutesy. You know, don't let the gorgeous looks fool you. And, the, and very, looking very young and all, you make her mad, she'll snap your arm off and make you eat it. That's how it is. And, and if I were Julia, don't let her good looks fool you too. Same thing. And Julia is going to be one of the best. Trust me on this one. And in fact, too bad you don't want to put her on the main roster immediately because I think her, you combine, you know, you remove the Kota Kai from damage control. You basically have the full horse women of Joshi Wrestling. You got Asuka, a.k.a. Oh, she was known as Kana. She was one of the best. Io Sky, a.k.a. Io Shirai. You got Kairi Sane, a.k.a. Kairi Hojo. And then you got Julia? Come on. You put those four ladies together. I'll tell you what. I like to see... The full horsewomen of NXT slash WWE reunite. Bring bring Mercedes Monet back to the WWE at Sasha Banks. Team her up with all with Bailey, with Becky, with Charlotte. Match them up against the full horsewomen of Joshi Wrestling, and you may have a banger for Survivor Series, or even worse, War Games. Let's do that. Who knows? Io could put a trash can over her head again, thinking she's Oscar, Oscar the Grouch, and fly off and tell you to go away. I don't like you. So, you get that down. Now, the NXT title on the line, Ilya Dragunov and Tony D'Angelo, this was a heck of a matchup. Um, this was a heck of a matchup. It got to the point where, you know, even Stax offered him some brass knuckles. He said, no, I want to I want to do this clean. And uh, Dragunov ended up retaining the title. Both men shake hands. Water away. Water away. Then you got uh, Valkyria was upset with Paxley in the back. And it seems to me that, you know, you know, Valkyria is, uh, you know, you know, Valkyria is pretty much upset at, uh, you know, was upset about that uh, with Paxley. And that could, that could change things NXT uh, Tuesday night, we'll find out. Uh, Javon Evans, who's only 19 years old, uh, made his mark on NXT level up. He's going to make his debut this Tuesday. So, already, the NXT after standing to deliver, many, many things are happening. Metaphor announces the all-time NXT all-time record, and I believe it's over 16,000 people. Congratulations to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. And then the main event, Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hayes, and this was a tiebreaker. I was 3-3 three three in my picks. And uh, 
this is a heck of a matchup, you know, and, you know, referees using the referee matchup using their discretion. Got to the point where Trick Williams was about to waffle uh, Carmelo Hayes like 10 or 20 times with a steel chair until the referee took it away from him. They decided to let the match go, and Trick Williams ended up picking up the victory anyways. So, And we might see Carmelo Hayes on the main roster and I wouldn't be surprised if he challenges Logan Paul for the United States. I like to see Carmelo Hayes and Logan Paul go after the United States title. So, what do I, it, you know, it was a great uh, NXT stand and deliver. Uh, tonight will be WrestleMania, night one. We'll find out what the the fate of the tomorrow night's main event will be. Uh, excuse me, we got a second here. And uh, so uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in to episode 1,320. Six of Eric Lee Machine against nineteen seventy seven NXT Stand and Deliver um, Event Center. All right, Event Center results. I will do it under the um, NXT Event Center banner because it's an NXT event. So I will see you guys later. You guys, I'm, I'm going to use the intro for the NX uh, for the NXT Event Center. So thank you very much for tuning in. And until the next episode comes rolling around, Mister Announcer, take us home. And see you tonight for WrestleMania 40. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, Dorf of Bob Saget Productions. And in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.